Okay, so unusual instruction. Do not forward to the one minute this. Just watch this video because this is a pre-recorded uh, video. Since I'm busy this week, so I thought, you know, uh, why deprive you from my beautiful self? <laughs> I mean, you know, why should you be deprived because of my timetable? So anyway. I've got an interesting topic this time. It's called science and spirituality or science versus spirituality. And uh, people constantly ask, you know, what is this whole nonsense of science versus spirituality? And some people say it's complementary. And what, what exactly is it? So I'm like, okay, let's get into the depth of it. I've made a video, video on this previously. And uh, I thought it was like two minute video. So I thought I'd be, get slightly more into the depth. So uh, let's go. Science and spirituality. Experience is spirituality. Let's take it simply, okay? Experience is spirituality. And science is quantification of that experience, right? So when I move my thumb, or when I move my fingers, or when I move my thumb, or you know, anything, I have experienced it at some level, right? It is only currently an experience as far as I'm concerned. But when you, when the, this is, when it is quantified, right? When people watch it, when uh, people study it, when people are like, how did this happen? Why did this happen? Where, what, what is going on? What is happening? Where is the instruction coming from your neurons? That is science, okay? So these are two completely different ways of looking at life. When they say spirituality is an inner experience, yes, that's true. Because that is only something that you can experience from within, right? Whether you're doing something very physical, it does not matter. You could be surfing, you could be bungee jumping, you could be doing any of these things. But when you are experiencing it, that's only happening within you, okay? And as far as you're concerned, life is all within you. But you're also looking at it from the outside. You're studying it, how it happens. But why should anyone study how it happens? That's what we look at in this video. All right. So now, see, most of you are living scientific lives, okay? Because most of you are simply quantifying life. You're learning how to do it, where to do it, what to do it. And a lot of you are not actually living life. You are not actually experiencing what life is going and doing that thing that you've always wanted to do or going and doing something new you know completely new to test yourself go out to do check what is happening within you right most of you don't do that you're living scientific life this was the theory this happened okay theories are important but if you look at it this was the theory okay and let me experience it and maybe create my own theories maybe create my own con uh, my own you know quantifications Okay, now I have nothing against science. Nihil Anand, in, the, in a sense, is science, okay? I am talking out what I feel inside. I am quantifying my experience, explaining it to you in words, okay? And it took me time to get these words right. It took me time to say the right words, to, understand, uh, to get you to understand, to simplify it in my own head, right? And I have boiled it down to as good a science as I can, okay? Trying to experience my own thing. But why am I doing it? I am quantifying it for myself. So that I understand, so that I can further enhance the experience in the future. When I put it in words, I'm like, oh, these are the words, interesting. And then I'm like, okay, how can I further make it? So either I quantify it more or I experience better. Okay, so both of these are simply aspects of life. And the problem is getting one and not getting the other. You know, if you only experience, uh, only if you only experience, okay, life, it's probably a beautiful life, but it's gonna have you're gonna have a problem living in this world. Okay, because this world is somewhat about quantifications. In a way, animals are also quantifying, but their DNA does the quantification for them. What we call instinct, okay, is actually their DNA working at it, right? The, the or DNA already has the memory of thousands of years probably. Okay, it has the memory of this lifetime and it is making calculations. So it's doing the quantification for you. Even your body is doing quantifications for you. It's just that you have the power to not listen to it. The power to choose experience over its quantification or to make your own quantification. That is the only difference. Okay, the problem is if you choose only one of them, uh, you're going to live more or less an incomplete life. And why quantify or, you know, uh, experience either ways? Because that's the only way to get, only two major ways to get into life. Right? As you get into life deeper and deeper, you realize certain things. Okay, and you realize more and more things fall. More and more of an authentic life you live. But these are two tools. And if you use one, yes, you can achieve it. You can achieve life through pure experience. And you can achieve life through pure uh, quantification. That is not an issue. But how happy will you be? How much time will you take? And why use one tool when you can use two? Right? It's, it's that simple. All right? So constantly quantify your experience. Okay? And experience your quantifications. Okay? Because if you live 
Lift, uh, what are quantifications? Let's talk about uh, quantifications, right? Uh, quantifications are assumptions, okay? People pre-ordained facts. People are telling you things. People uh, hearsay, gossip. Okay, these are all quantifications of someone else's experience. Have you experienced it? Go and experience it yourself. Okay, then you will realize that it will be a completely different experience. So similarly, with anything, with travel, with spirituality, with existence, with life, okay, approach it with both this. Okay, now you will say both ideas, science and spirituality. So, uh, so quantify and experience together. Okay, now you will say... Uh, that you know quantification is so hard what's the point why not experience life why not enjoy life okay my question is quantify quantifying okay make it a science because experience is just experience but you can make that also a science all right and how to make it a science you have to make it through practice right when i when i talk right over time over time i've improved my ability to talk so for this this topic for example it was suggested by someone last time and I just within 20 minutes, I wrote the whole topic, finished 20 minutes. Okay, such a, I, I'd say it's a deep topic. Okay, so such a deep topic, I wrote in 20 minutes. Why? Because I have practiced and I have learned quantification and I have gone up to people more intelligent than me and they have corrected me repeatedly and they've corrected, they've said I'm, ro I'm wrong. Then some things made sense to me, some things didn't. I, exp I uh, took what they, what made sense to me. I didn't take what didn't, didn't make sense to me. I took all suggestions and then I learned the science of quantification. For example, even uh, someone who's into spirituality, okay, has quantified spirituality. They have told you steps to get en enlightened, right? There are literally steps and you can quantify. So you can quantify anything, even the most beautiful experience even enlightenment if it exists even god you can quantify it. there is nothing in this universe that you can quantify it maybe you cannot talk about it exactly like for example truth you cannot exactly say what is the truth right but you can talk around it but you can experience that truth and talk around it so that is the this experience and quantification most quantification is only around the truth you can never tell the real truth in any kind of quantification okay so it's, it's like this, if you, in, in life, right, uh, if you quantify well, you become either a teacher or a scientist. If you experience well, you become a mystic or a yogi. But if you do both, then you can become anything on the spectrum, anything you want. So why not be anything you want, you know? Why not make life easy? And that's it. All right, so uh, people, uh, please um, put press the bell icon on my this because be, uh, my friend has been telling me that, you know, they don't get notifications and all. So if you can press, I don't know why YouTube is suppressing my views or whatever. Uh, but just press the bell icon if if you like, okay? if you if you really like uh, my stuff. And that's about it. And next next video, I'm going to be talking about all about antinatalism. So I'll go a little deep into antinatalism. Basically, I'm going to be uh, repeating what my book says. Right? And the uh, link is in the comments if you all want to this. But I'll be repeating that. I'll be explaining in my own way. You know, I'll be like shouting at you all and whatever, whatever. And then, uh, you're, of course, we can have questions. So this time there won't be any questions. I'm really sorry. Uh, but you all can write your questions down and ask me next time. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.